I just heard, and I hope I'm wrong, brothers and sisters, but I just heard that a sister got hit with a brick for denying the romantic advances of a brother. Is that true? Can somebody confirm this story? In the United States, my American Africans, my American Africans, my American Africans, did I hear that correctly? That a sister got hit with a brick by a brother? This is insane. No man worthy of the title man. No man worthy of the title man should ever put his hands on an African queen. You have no business touching our sisters. Now, brothers, I've said this before. We're going to have to ski mask up and start protecting our women. We're going to have to ski mask up and start protecting our women. A brother put his hands on a sister. There should be an army of brothers to put him in his place. We have to. We have to. Every time a black woman is assaulted, black men as a brotherhood are dishonored. Every time a black woman is assaulted, black men as a brotherhood are dishonored. Our women, our women are off limits for domestic abuse of any kind, violence of any kind. Police violence, romantic violence, domestic violence, street violence. We need to send a message to the world. We need to send a message to the world that the abuse of black women is off limits. We need to do this. We need to do this because it's out of control. Our daughters are watching their mothers get a beat by black men. That's not a good example. If we're concerned about our daughters being drafted into the lesbian army, the feminist army, the transgender army, if you're concerned about that, we have to do something about violence against black women. I don't know where it happened. I don't know when it happened. I don't know who the sister was. I don't know who the brother is, but justice needs to be served and not from the white power structure. We have to stop looking for justice from the white power structure. We have to deliver our own justice. We have to deliver our own justice. We have to deliver our own justice. Our own justice. I was going to say that we are still, 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 still looking for those secretaries in the states for the various initiatives that Team Pan-African is going to be embarking on. In fact, we can use them from Queens around the diaspora as well, but we got to get organized. There are far more young people ready for revolution than ever before. Political revolution, economic revolution. It's time to organize. It's time to energize. And it's time to mobilize. I don't care if she was talking bad about black men. That's wrong. But the response should not be abuse. And I'm trying to understand how black men are so quick to put your hands on a sister for disrespecting you. I'm trying to understand how black men are so quick to put your hands on a sister for disrespecting you. I was one of the guys who was there that did not help her when she was getting hit with the brick, right? I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and saying things they don't understand or they don't know. You guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend, who you guys are trying to speak up for. This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually taunting the guy to hit her. 
Why would I go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble? This woman, she is literally a troublemaker. Everybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not going to risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. If you go on social media online, you're going to see some of her antic videos taunting people looking for a reaction well she got what she been looking for and you guys are giving her the attention that she was actually speaking for i don't regret not standing up for her if you look at some of the videos i was there i don't regret nothing whatsoever i don't regret standing up for her i'm not saying she deserved it i'm not saying that any men have a right to hit a woman especially with a brick nobody deserved that by the end of the day, there's more to the story. She's not as innocent as she trying to portray herself to be. I'm trying to understand how black men are so quick to put your hands on a black woman for disrespecting you, but you don't do that to the police. You don't do that to the police. You didn't do that to George Zimmerman. You didn't do that to nobody who offends the black community, but because a black woman said something disrespectful on YouTube. Because the black woman said something disrespectful on YouTube, you believe you was justified to hit her with a brick? Why don't we keep the same energy with the police who shot Michael Brown? Where was that energy at? Midwest gangsters? Where was the energy at for the police who choked out Eric Gardner? New York gangsters? Where was the energy at for the police who separated Freddie Gray's spine from his skull? Maryland gangsters? Where was this energy for the police who murdered Breonna Teller? Kentucky gangsters? I'm trying to understand how we so gangster. I'm trying to understand how we so gangster with each other to the point of beating up black women, but we ain't got no smoke for the police. We ain't got no smoke for these white males. We ain't got no smoke for these Asians. What about the Asian store owner who shot that brother in Columbia, South Carolina? What about the Asian store owner who shot that brother in South Carolina? Where the smoke at for him, South Carolina gangsters? The only time we can be gangster is with each other. I smell cowardice. I smell cowardice. I smell cowardice. It's not making no sense. Hands off black women. That's the new move. Hashtag hands off black women. That's the new movement. That's the new movement. Y'all ran with the snow bunny movement. Let's run with the hands off black women movement. Y'all ran with the snow bunny movement. Let's run with the hands off black women movement. Y'all ran with the snow bunny movement. Let's run with the hands off black women movement. Hashtag hands off black women. And sisters, y'all need to up. Every sister, get your license to carry and get your, get your license to carry and get your get your license to carry, get your go to the shooting range. I told y'all this when the woman king came out, Viola Davis. I told y'all one of the messages of the woman king movie for black women is y'all need to form your own self-defense groups because black men obviously are too busy sniffing after bunny behind. Y'all need to form your own self-defense groups for black women. We need all black female self-defense training groups. I'm serious. All female self-defense training. We need that. Get a whole bunch of pink. Y'all should have a pink, a pink, a pink, a pink. Sisters need to get armed. Stop spending all your money on hair and nails and get you some damn protection. Stop spending all your money on hair and nails. 
and get you some damn protection because the brother's too busy sniffing snow bunny booty. So you're going to have to arm yourselves, ladies. You're going to have to arm yourselves. Can somebody send me the article on this brother who hit the sister with the brick? Please send me an article about this brother who hit the sister with the brick. I, I, I want to check that out. I most definitely want to check that out. I'm also going to be working on a college tour. I think we're going to do a HBCU college tour in the wintertime. HBCU college tour. We got to get these young brothers off the street, give their life some purpose. Give their life some purpose. I'm going to do a small college tour just for Pennsylvania and Delaware. I'm going to do a small college tour just for Pennsylvania. I'm going to do a mini college tour for black boys and a mini college tour for black girls. We're going to hit up Cheney. We're going to hit up Lincoln. We're going to hit up my alma mater, Millersville University. We're going to hit up Dell State University. We're going to hit up University of Maryland Eastern Shore. We're going to hit up the Great Blacks and Wax Museum. We're going to hit up the Smithsonian National African American Museum. We're going to hit up the slavery exhibit at the Constitution Center in Philadelphia. We're going to do a mini college tour. I'm going to put together a mini and then we're going to go back to the major. I'm going to put together the mini and then we're going to go back to the major. Jersey, you could bring your, your children to PA. We're going to take off probably from the front of FDMG. We might take off from the front of FDMG. We might take off from the front of FDMG. Then we're going to do a, a deep south. How many HBCUs in Texas? I need to go and do a Texas HBCU tour. I need to do a black Texas HB. How many HBCUs in Texas? We, we got to hit up Texas. I miss my Texas Africans. I miss, I'm a block this ninja. It's funny how y'all quick to say I'm a racist. It's funny how y'all quick to say I'm a racist, but y'all don't have the same energy for the real racists out there. Police kill black people, y'all don't say nothing. Snow bunnies in the public school miseducate black people, y'all don't say nothing. World Bank IMF raping Africa's resources, y'all never accuse them of being racist. The district attorney, he's never accused of being racist. These racist shops that sell us bad food and old clothes, they never racist. But whenever I talk about black advancement, I'm a racist. But guess what? I need y'all to hear me well. I don't give a damn what you call me because I'm unapologetically African. I don't give a damn what you call me. You can throw every name you want, every rumor, every lie, Every slander don't make a difference. Son of Ogun, it don't make a difference. Son of Ogun, it don't make a difference. Son of Ogun, it don't make a difference. But I want to thank all my Belgium Africans and my Netherlands Africans for coming out. I want to thank all my Belgium Africans and my Netherlands Africans for coming out. I enjoyed everybody. I had a great time in Rotterdam, a great time in Belgium, Brussels, great time in Rotterdam, great time in Brussels, great time in Rotterdam, great time in Brussels. I think I've done all my Caribbean islands so far. I think I've done all my Caribbean islands. We got to hit up Central American Africans. I'm trying to understand why well, I ain't been in Central America yet. Where the Central American Africans at? Where the Central American Africans at? And we got to hit up the South American Africans. The Latino Africans, y'all being left out because y'all not making the moves. Latino Africans, y'all being left out because y'all not making no moves. Latino Africans in Central and South America, y'all being left out because y'all not making no moves. St. Lucia, let's make it happen. St. Lucia, St. Kitts, let's make it happen. Dominica, let's make it happen. Guyana, let's make it happen. Belize, let's make it happen. Honduras, let's make it happen.
Ghana, I'll see you November the 1st to the 6th. Where my Cameroonian Africans? Antigua, let's make it happen. If I went to Brazil, I would never come back. Where my Guatemalan Africans at? Where my Guatemalan Africans at? Eighteen eighty four, eighteen eighty five. The Western powers of the world came together and they carved up Africa like a cake. They decided who would get what. What would France get? What would Portugal get? What would the UK get? What would Belgium get? And this man right here, this devil, this demon, this antichrist, the worst names and the worst adjectives in a dictionary wouldn't be sufficient to describe who he was and what he did.